hello people welcome back to my channel if this is your first time stopping by welcome in today's video i'm going to take you through three quick and easy styles that you can actually achieve in five minutes and you can rock these styles to school to work and other important events and it will still look elegant and well put together prior to this my hair was in braid to help with the stretching out i needed to stretch out the hair a little bit so to achieve this style, you need to stretch out your hair a bit. And you could do this through braiding, corn roll, twist, and African trading. Next, I applied edge control to my edges to keep it flat and neat as you can see in the video. Next, I'm putting my hair in a high ponytail. Please remember not to make it too tight because of the edges. We still need them edges and now look at my actual length and there's little i can do with this length at the moment so it's time for the clippings see if you want to see how i achieved this clipping please check out my previous video so this particular clippings has three pins so i'll be going in first with the one in the middle to secure to secure it so i'm putting it very close to the shoelace i used in tying my hair so when once that one is secured i'll now take the rest and wrap it round and secure them also So that is it, but I'm still not convinced. I was still going with a bobby pin to be hundred percent sure the clipping is secured. So now, guys, look at my hair. I just grew my hair in one minute. Can you beat that? So guys, this is the actual aim. This is the aim. This is why I did this. So with this, I can style my hair in whatever way I want. So now, the first hairstyle here is the donuts. This one is quite easy. So up to the next. So the next hairstyle actually i don't know what to call that i was just putting rubber bands round the hair i ended up using about six six rubber bands and the end result was funny <laughs> reminds me of what masquerade in my village i used to carry something very long like that on its head so I was like, no, I can't go out with this. So I had to bend it. So I used a bobby pin to secure it and the hair looks better. And I love this. I can actually go out with this. So that was another hairstyle. So now for the third hairstyle, I'm going to add another clipping for a fuller hair. The third hair needs volume. So remember i placed the previous clippings at the back so this one comes to the front so i'm doing the same thing i did i started with the pin in the middle and i now use the other ones to wrap around and secure So you can see how full the hair is now. So next, 
I'm going to separate my natural hair from the clippings. You can see my short hair in the middle. So I'm just going to twist. You can braid. You can do anything you want with your natural hair. So I'm, right now I'm twisting it down. Then I'm going to pin it. Down. So next, I'm going to take sections of each kinky hair. I'm going to divide the hair into small sections. So the next step is to swell. I'm going to swell it with my hand. You can twist it if you want. That was the first style that came to my mind, but then I said I should try this out and it still came out beautiful. So I'm going to twist it. I did swell. <laughs> I don't know how to call it, but that's what I did. You can see what I did there. Then, tuck it into the natural hair and pin. Make sure it is secure. So, we are going to repeat the entire process until we are done with all the kinky hair. So, tell me in the comment section if this is a hairstyle you would love to try. Please remember to comment, share, and subscribe if you are yet to do so so after a while the phone stopped recording and i wasn't aware by the time i realized what was going on it was already too late so i had to go and dress up and show off the hair guess what i actually wore the hair to my place of worship and it was beautiful i'll see you guys in my next video bye